Hello, my name is Shalanda Chaudhary and in this video, I'll show how to integrate Azure Key Vault service with AKS cluster. So let's start. Secret management is required for the sensitive information, which can be achieved using three ways in Azure Kubernetes cluster. First one is by creating the secrets in etcd. But the problem with these secrets is that they are not encrypted. However, they are only base 64 encoded, which means anyone can decode them and get the sensitive information. The second way is to create the public and the private key for the encryption. Then use the private key to encrypt the secret to save in at CD. But the problem is if you are creating the multiple secrets and you are using the different private encryption key, in those cases, there will be overhead of managing those private keys. And the third one, which is the most recommended way is to use Azure Key Vault Server with AKS cluster. So let me explain this in detail, how we'll access the secrets from Azure Key Vault into the AKS cluster. So we already have an AKS cluster, which is created with the virtual machine scale sets. So this is AKS cluster. Now, first thing we'll do is we'll create Azure Key Vault service. And then we'll create a secret in it where we'll save the sensitive information. So now the question is, can the AKS cluster directly access the secret? The answer is no. By default, AKS cannot integrate with the key vault and we have to enable the add-on which is CSI driver which, and the full form of CSI is container storage interface drivers. So these are the codes which are written so that they can recognize the Azure key vault. So once we'll enable the CSI drivers, CSI drivers, then our AKS cluster can look for the key vault service. Now in the AKS, we have CSI drivers, but still the AKS doesn't have permissions to access or view the secrets in the key vault. For that, we require some permissions and those permissions will be provided using the system assigned manage identity system assigned manage identity which will be assigned to the virtual machine scale set so first we'll enable the system assigned manage identity on the virtual machine scale set then we'll assign permissions on the manage identity of the virtual machine scale set using the access policy of the key vault now at this step our aks cluster has access to the key vault service so the next step is we have to create a configuration so that AKS cluster will look for the particular key vault service along with the particular secrets, keys or certificate. So now we are going to create secret provider class. Where we will define which key vault service we have to use and which secret we want to access. Once the secret provider class is defined, then we have to map this information into the pod so that application can use the sensitive information for the deployment or for their activity. So now we'll create a pod where we'll do the volume mount of the secret provider class, which will further mount the secret into the pod. So that means if I'll summarize this, first we'll create the Azure Key Vault service and the secret. To access this Key Vault service, we have to install the CSI drivers. Once the drivers are installed, we have to enable the system assigned manage identity and provide the required permission using the access policy of Azure Key Vault. Once we are ready with this setup, then we have to create the secret provider class, which will define the Key Vault name and the secrets which we want to use. Once the secret provider class is defined, then we'll create a pod or the deployment and then mount the volume with the secret provider class, which will further mount the secret into the pod. So this is what we are going to achieve in the demo. I have already created a blog describing all the steps which you have to follow to integrate the Azure Key Vault to AKS cluster. So as you can see, we have to create a Azure Key Vault and the secret. We have to enable the CSI drivers, verify the driver. 
So we'll follow all these steps from here in our demo. So I'll be using the same AKS demo cluster, which we are using in the whole series. So let's log in into the cloud shell, kubectl, get nodes. So there are two nodes which are part of the virtual machine scale set. So let's go to the documentation. So we have to create an Azure Key Vault and the secret. However, we'll be using the same Azure Key Vault, which we have used earlier. So there is already an Azure Key Vault, which is AKS Demo Cluster Key Vault. And I have created a secret in it, which you can easily create it. Just provide the name and the value and secret is created. So I have created a secret, which is MySQL password. And if you'll go to the current version, there is only one version. You can see test one, two, three is the password which is the sensitive information. So the step is done. Let's go to the documentation. We have already created the Azure Key Vault and Secret. Now in the next step, I'll enable the CSI drivers. So before that, I'll check whether the CSI drivers are already there or not. Let me copy paste and put it in the notepad to be on the safe side. Looks good to me. Let's run this. And no resources are found in Cube Systems namespace. Let's install the CSI drivers. Let me copy paste. So we are enabling the add-ons. The add-on name is Azure Key Vault Secret Provider. The name is AKS Demo Cluster and resource group is AKS Demo Cluster Resource Group. Let's copy paste and run. And it's installing the add-on now. It will take few minutes, so I'll pause the video and we'll be back once it's done. CSI drivers are installed now, as you can see the output. So let's run the command again and check whether they are installed. And as you can see, it's been around one minute when they are installed. So it's the secret CSI drivers. So let's go to the next step. We'll enable the system assigned managed identity on virtual machine scale set. Let's go to the virtual machine scale set first. And we'll go to the identity. And it's disabled for now. Let's let's enable the system assigned managed identity. And you can see the object ID is provided. Now manage identity is enabled. Now we have to provide the permissions to the principal or the object ID of the virtual machine scale set. If we can run this command or there's another option, we can go to Azure Key Vault and go to the access policy, add an access policy, secret management because we are providing only to the secret. It'll check all the boxes, but you can drill down the policy based on your requirement and in the principal, let me find this information. Let me copy paste. And AKS agent node pool. And select and add. Save. So now the permissions are provided to manage identity of the virtual machine scale set. So the next step is to create a secret provider class. Let me copy paste the name. So I'm creating the secret provider class. Let me copy paste the information too. Okay, so as you can see, the API version is provided for the CSI secret provider class. And we'll provide the name as the KV name system MSI. We'll keep the same name. Provider class is Azure. We'll use the system, we'll use the managed identity, which is true. This is Azure public cloud and the key vault name is AKS demo cluster key vault. Object name is MySQL password, which is the secret which we have created. And finally, we have to provide the tenant ID. This is the directory ID of the key vault, which will go to the key vault overview. You can see the directory ID. 
let me copy paste this information and done let's save and apply cube ctl apply hyphen f and the name of the file now the secret provider class is created let's check cube ctl get secret provider class and as you can see when for the key vault secret providers class is created now the last step is to do the volume mount on of this secret provider class into a pod so let's go to the next step let's create a pod with the secret vi pod.yml and let me copy paste this information Now we are creating a pod with the name of busybox secret in line system msi we are using the default name container name is busybox images image is the busybox image because the busybox container immediately terminated so we are sleeping it for 10000 seconds and as you can see using the csi drivers to create the volume and then mounting those volumes into the pod the so secret provider class name we have to provide which we have created is by default so let me copy paste this information and provide it here let's create this pod cube ctl apply hyphen f and pod file let's check if pod is created And pod is created and running so that's good let's go to the next step and and verify if the secrets are there or not so we'll run this command this will execute the command into the container itself so let's run this command i think the name of the pod is different and as you can see there is a secret inside the pod which is mysql password Let's get this information and get the password. Test one two three is the secret, which is in the Azure Key Vault secrets. So now, whosoever has access to the pod, either the application or the user, can use this password. For further deployment or integration with another service so that is all for this video i hope you liked it please like and subscribe thank you so much